The internet came to the rescue of YouTuber Republic Attack, whose house was burglarized for over $18,000 worth of Legos. You're watching What's Trending. I'm Jonathan Harris. Like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. Republic Attack started his channel in 2010. He posts videos of his extensive Lego collection focusing on Star Wars characters and ships. But his video on October 5th was distraught when he revealed that his home had been ransacked and his Lego structures destroyed and stolen. So, and my creation, which was here, um, gone, totally destroyed. Because of all of his losses, he said that he was going to end his channel and stop building Legos for good. They need to rule spots, so I'm just stopping. So, um, and probably I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah, so it was really great to have you uh, follow me during the ages and aspire other people doing also Legos. He aspired to be an awful, which stands for adult fan of Legos, basically a professional Lego artist. When you're doing something at this scale and you're dedicating this amount of time to it, you have to be in love with it. When I pick something, when I pick a certain you know world or scene or whatever from a Star Wars movie, I'm picking something that I'm most passionate about that I know will look best and that I know I'll be proud of. But the internet had something very surprising in store for Republic Attack. YouTuber Ryan McCullough, who runs the LEGO Star Wars channel MNR Productions, saw Republic Attack's video and wanted to help. Basically, he lost a lot of LEGO sets. In fact, he told me it's about 18,000 US dollars worth, and obviously I don't expect to get anywhere near that um, with the GoFundMe for him, but like, I think we can make a dent in that. Personally, I'm going to start with donating $50 and hopefully it just grows from there. We'll see where the GoFundMe goes. He started a GoFundMe page with a goal of only $1,000 and within two days they had raised over $18,000 so that Republic Attack can replace his entire collection. After the campaign hit $18,000, Ryan closed donations at Republic Attack's request so as not to raise more money than was necessary. He hasn't returned to YouTube yet, though he did thank his fans on Twitter and expressed surprise at the tremendous outpouring of support. He said that support has given him the will to not stop building and to keep pursuing his dream of becoming an awful. The money should be enough to replace this entire list of stolen and destroyed Lego Star Wars items. And if this story is the first time you've thought about Legos in a while, yeah, they're really expensive. Items like the Clone Walker Battle Pack have been discontinued by Lego and this one on Amazon is $68. Republic Attack needs 50 of those to get back to where he was. But we have a feeling if LEGO hears about this story, they might be able to make that happen. Sure enough, someone who works for LEGO PR in France says they're trying to get in touch with him. So we can expect him to get hooked up pretty soon. Have you guys ever had something stolen that meant everything to you? Let us know in the comments below. And for more stories like this, head over to whatstrending.com.